Hey everybody, welcome back to the guide. In this section, we are going to install Mod Organizer 2 and some plugins for Mod Organizer 2. So let's dive right in. So first of all, we're going to install Mod Organizer 2. So go ahead and click here. Under Files. And we're going to want the uh, archive version of this. So manual download. All right, now let's install it. So let's create a folder here called Mod Organizer 2. Just drag the contents of this zip file into that new folder. Just like we've been doing. So easy. And while we're here, let's go ahead and create a shortcut for it. So go into Mod Organizer 2 folder, right click Mod Organizer, and you guessed it, send it to desktop as a shortcut. Boom. Great. All right, let's go ahead and uh, configure Mod Organizer 2. Let's get it set up. So in this section here, choose your instance. We're going to want to choose Portable. Then here, obviously, uh, we're going to choose Skyrim Special Edition. And there we go. You are starting Mod Organizer for the first time. Do you want to uh, do you want to show a tutorial of its basic features? If this is your very first time ever using Mod Organizer 2, I recommend uh, that you click Yes to be a little bit acquainted. You don't have to, but uh, it is recommended. I'm going to click No. Okay, now it says Mod Organizer is not set up to handle NXM links, associated with NXM links. Uh, what are NXM links? It's links uh, to uh, Nexus, to the Nexus where we're gonna down download the vast majority of our mods. Um, you do have to have uh, an account set up there. Um, you can set up a free account, but I highly recommending, uh, I highly recommend to subscribe to, their, uh, to the pre premium. Uh, with premium, you get much faster downloads and also, um, as a bonus, they uh, uh, you don't have to endure the ads on the, the web page, but uh, click yes. All right, with Mod Organizer 2 now properly installed, there are additional settings that will be required to ensure full integration with the Nexus and use user uh, comfort. So Mod Organizer needs to be connected to the Nexus account for logins and download management. So for full integration with the Nexus, uh, requires that you have an Nexus account. If you do not have one, you can create one here. This will also be required for large file downloads and it's free of charge, though the free account will also be very limited in bandwidth. A premium subscription with no bandwidth cap is available. Details can be found on the Nexus website. Okay, so in the toolbar Mod Organizer 2, locate settings. It will have a spanner and screwdriver right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. We're gonna go to the Nexus tab. And then in this new window, we're going to click Connect to Nexus. It's going to bring up the Nexus web, uh, web page. And after you've, been ha after you've set up your account, you're logged into Nexus and everything, uh, you should get this uh, page here. Click Authorize. And away we go. Okay, we're going to hit OK. And let's go ahead and restart it. Okay, some users may find the default Mod Organizer 2 theme overly bright and harsh. I do. I find this overly bright and harsh. In the toolbar Mod Organizer 2, locate the Settings button. Let's again this spanner and screwdriver. And we're going to click on the Generals tab. And right here, User Interface Style. Right here. Click down. they got various different styles here. And we're going to go with Paper Dark Theme. That's right here. And watch this. Ah, so much better. And then after that, we're going to click OK to close that window. OK. All right, now we're going to create the base profile uh, uh, that we're going to use for uh, Mod Organizer 2. OK, right now we have uh, a default profile. We're going to create a vanilla profile uh, to establish a working game baseline and for troubleshooting purposes. So locate and press Configure Profiles. It'll look like an ID card. All right, this right here. Configure Profiles. Okay, we're gonna click create and we'll call this Vanilla Skyrim Special Edition. And we wanna make sure this is not checked. Okay, we wanna verify that Vanilla Skyrim uh, Special Edition is over here in the left. Yep, we're gonna choose it. And verify that the user profile save games is checked. And use, uh, use profile specific game INI files is also checked. 
We're gonna click on default here and we're just gonna go ahead and get, uh, get rid of that. Yes. And then that's it. And uh, we see here Vanilla Skyrim Special Edition. Okay, let's set up uh, the base tools for Mod Organizer 2. So, uh, all the tools that we installed, we're gonna um, link it to Mod Organizer 2 so we can open those tools through Mod Organizer 2. So we're gonna locate and press the executables button and executables button is right here. And another way you could do it is uh, drop this down and you could click on edit. But let's go ahead and click on this button right here. The first tool we're gonna add is uh, SSE edit. So we're gonna click this here, the plus button. Add from file. And then we're gonna navigate to where sseedit.exe is installed. And uh, we're gonna go to that uh, Lexi's Legacy of Dragonborn folder that we created. And uh, I put mine in the root directory of my C drive. SSE edit. And then right here at the executable, click that, click open. All right. We wanna make sure that no additional checkboxes are checked. And then click apply. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing for the other tools that we need. So the next one we're gonna do is the SSE edit quick auto clean.exe. So go ahead and click, uh, click plus, add from file, and uh, it's right here. It's in the same folder as SSE edit. So choose that executable, open. We're also gonna add an argument. So an arguments field here, we're gonna put a dash don't cache, one word, then click apply. And let's repeat the, the same steps for both Rybash and Zedit. So, plus, add file. We're gonna go back to the Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn folder. We're gonna locate Rybash. Rybash executes right there. Select it, click open, and then apply. Then finally, Zedit, same thing, add file. Go to, go to that folder, Lexi's Legacy of the Dragonborn folder. Uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn, Zedit. Click the Z-Edit executable, open, and then apply. And that's it. We've added our tools that we're going to use to Mod Organizer 2. And now let's hit OK. All right, Mod Organizer 2 will have automatically detected the three official DLC files for Skyrim, Hearthfires, Dragonborn, uh, Dawnguard, but we'll have them ordered alphabetically, which is not what we want. And also you'll see here it says non-mod organizer, which means these are files that are uh, installed directly into the Skyrim uh, Special Edition directory. Whereas mod organizer uh, 2 uses a virtual file, uh, file uh, system. So we're going, we're going to go ahead and uh, sort these uh, in the proper order that they're supposed to be. So we want Dawnguard on top, so just click it and drag it. We want Hearthfile second, then Dragonborn as last. And now um, we're gonna uh, use loot to sort these plugins here. Okay, so let's go ahead and use loot to sort these plugins. So from this drop down menu, choose loot, click run. And then after loot is uh, loaded, we're gonna press these three bars here to sort the plugins. So no sorting was needed, but if it was needed, you would see an apply button up here. You would click apply. And then when you close uh, loot, it would automatically uh, arrange these in a proper order. Okay, so this process has uh, taught you two processes, how to load uh, loot through Mod Organizer, and coincidentally, this is also how you load all the other tools that we've installed. And it also taught us how to use loot to sort uh, load orders for our plugins. Okay, after having done all that, we have uh, just our base setup for vanilla Skyrim. So now we're going to create another profile specific for uh, Lexi's uh, Legacy of the Dragonborn. So to do that, let's go ahead and create that profile. Okay, so let's create that uh, new profile. So click on the create, uh, Configure Profiles button. Then press Create. We are going to call this Legacy of the Dragonborn Special Edition. I'm going to click OK. We're going to choose Legacy of the Dragonborn and click Close. So I'm going to make sure that this is chosen up here. <laughs> Hello, good people. This is JT from the future. I forgot to mention something. After you select Legacy of the Dragonborn profile that you just created, make sure that these files, your DLC, is in a proper order. So make sure that Dawnguard comes before Hearthfire, then Hearthfire, then Dragonborn. 
Sorry about that. Please carry on. <laughs> All right, we are now ready to start. Okay, so earlier I told you that um, we were only in installing uh, the first part of SKSC. So now we are gonna fully install SKSC by installing the second part. So let's make sure we have our legacy of the Dragon Ball Special Edition profile chosen. And now in the Mod Organizer 2, uh, 2 toolbar, let's locate and click on the Install a New Mod from Archive. That's this button right here. Go to our Downloads folder we down where we've been downloading everything and we will see SKC you did keep it right told you to save it click open and you're gonna get this window here it says the content of data does not look valid so this current layer of uh, the file structure is not what we want go ahead and click through here it's giving you some basic info okay so to get to the layer that we need to get to, right click on this, set as data directory, and then click on uh, data, right click, set as data directory, until you see scripts, and you'll see a uh, green um, font here. The content of data looks valid. And then we're gonna click OK. And let's go ahead and rename this here by right clicking, rename the mod, and we're gonna call it SKSE scripts. And go ahead and click that to activate it. So after you do that, you will notice here under version, it has this, uh, it has a date instead of actually showing the version number of uh, SKSE. And it's not a big deal, but Lexi's guide uh, is gonna have us sort that out. So SKSE does not have a version number or category set. So we're gonna right click on SKSE scripts Gonna go down to information, or you could also double click on it. Same thing. So in the categories tab, right here, click. We're gonna go down and uh, choose utilities. Boom. And then in the Nexus info tab, we're gonna set the mod ID to negative one. So now over in the versions field, we're gonna enter the current version number that we are using. At the time of this recording, it is 2.0.19. And click close. All right, now let's uh, make sure that we installed SKSE correctly. And uh, to do that, we're gonna actually launch Skyrim uh, and to verify. So now this is also how, uh, from now on, how you're gonna launch Skyrim. We are no longer gonna launch Skyrim through Steam. We're gonna launch it through uh, Mod Organizer 2. And to do that, you would drop down the menu here and we're gonna click SKSC. So we're actually launching SKSE, which hooks into uh, Skyrim and it's gonna load that way. So choose that, click run. All right. So after the music plays and we get to the menu, click the tilde key. That's the key next to number one on your keyboard. And then we're gonna type get SKSE version, all one word, and then hit enter. And there you go, SKSE version 2.0.19. Excellent. You did it, good job. Let's go ahead and exit out the game. All right, the final thing we're gonna do in this video is install the merge plugins hide plugin for Mod Organizer 2. And this is how we do it. So I'll go ahead and click download here. Download source code, save. Okay, so to install that uh, plugin, let's open up our Mod Organizer 2 folder. Locate the plugins folder right here. Open up your zip file. Go in one more layer. And then we're gonna uh, drag all of this minus README and license. So select it all, then control click on license and README. And then drag all this into the plugins folder. Good. All right, now we're gonna configure it. So click on uh, the configure settings, click on plugins and then go down to merge plugin hide. Okay, if you don't see it, it's because uh, we need to refresh Mod Organizer 2. So go ahead and close out Mod Organizer 2 and reload it. 
Okay, let's do that again. Go down the merge plugins hide. It's right there. Excellent. And we're gonna right click on hide type here. So double click that and type in optional. Enter. Okay, now that plugin is configured. All right, that concludes this video. In the next video, we're gonna clean the Bethesda ESM files. I will see you in the next video.